Yeah, let's, let's, let's get to some of the good. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's just do that. Let's, okay. Let's do that. Mitch, Mitchell Robinson. Yes. He broke every single block record known to man in one day. Block Ness Monster, of course. Yes. Yeah, the Block Ness Monster. Word, word. Like, he beat CP. He, I mean, not BC. I'm saying not CP. I'm mm. getting my, my P's mixed up. Oh, good. <laughs> he beat KP. Got 135 blocked shots, which is a new franchise record. Mm-hmm. 29 straight games with at least one block as a rookie, beating Patrick Ewing's Patrick record. Patrick Ewing's record. Mm-hmm. Yep, the great one. 19 straight games with two blocks. Yep. So I think it was 20, no? It might have been 20, but all right, 19. Yeah. New Knicks rookie record, and he leads the league in block three-pointers. Yeah. Incredible. So if we can take anything away from today's game, it is the shining star of Mitch who's helping us keep this season bearable as we hobble down the stretch. Hey, he's been the highlight of this campaign. Knicks now 14 and 58. Jay Ellis, 10 more games left. We got 10 more games left, people. Hang okay. on. We got 10 more games left. And then we can start talking about the exciting things again. Mm-hmm. On this show, Jay Ellis, it's all about the silver linings. This is why we yeah. come on and talk Knicks. Yep. Because uh, we, we can't talk about wins. Nah. So we 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 gotta <laughs> talk about the the good things. But no, listen. Um, Mitch Mitch was definitely a good thing, as you talked about the block statistics. Uh, once again, um, I thought Mitch kept his e- effort and intensity up despite us getting washed most of the game. Finished with fourteen points, twelve boards, three block shots. Um, you know, I, I thought Mitch Mitch kept his intensity up. Another bright spot I want to talk about. On the offensive side, and I want yes. to stress on the offensive side. Yes, trust that. And you know where we know where I'm going. Yeah. Kev, Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox had a solid game offensively, man. 27 oh, yeah. points, eight boards, 10 of 17 shooting, uh, three of six from from downtown. I thought offensively, Kevin Knox. This is probably one of his best games, even though some of those points and some of those shots came in complete, complete, complete garbage time. Um, I, I still thought he, he, he looked good. I thought he got into his spots well. Mm-hmm. They had him. They had him. And, and credit Sean Shepard for for uh, noting this also. They they had him running the offense in the half court a little bit, man. You know, as a yeah, primary man. ball handler. Knicks were down. DSJ down. Kadeem Allen down. Isozo. I was ready to go to the garden on my way to work, JLs, and just see if Fizz needed me to suit up, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Too, man. I want that extra little check, man. Uh, I'm like, listen, Fizz, you need a man. backup, backup. I got you. I'll sign him one day. I'll sign him one day. I don't need a 10-day. Give me a one-day fix. I'll sign a seven-hour, dog. You know what I mean? Just give me a seven-hour, <laughs> man. Let me let me suit up. You know what I'm saying? I'll give John Jenkins a haircut or something and and, and support the team. But That's uh, fact. I'll pass more to Moutier, too. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, talk about Knox, man. What do you think about Knox's, um, just how he looked offensively in, in certain oh, spots? Man, very comfortable. You can tell, like, when I was watching him play, at least on the offensive end anyway, that floater, man, I, I feel like that floater next season. Yeah. Like it's 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 deadly already. But once that handle gets a little bit tighter and he's able to maneuver through his spots like he was trying to do it today, I feel like that floater that floater is gonna be amazing. That's gonna mm-hmm. be such a great weapon. I agree. Yeah, and the I, three points if the three point shooting can stay consistent, then we'll we'll have something. We'll have Knox looking at that shot chart that yeah. shot chart we just saw early, you know what I'm saying? Hitting mm-hmm. all the red all the red and the threes and right under the paint. And I also, you know what, too? Maybe making Knox more of a boy handler is the key to unlocking his full potential because we saw Maybe. we saw in the summer league when he was doing well. Yeah. He was doing well, bringing the ball up in the top of the key, um, working in pick and roll situations. Yes. Uh, even uh, I think I've seen the stat. I don't know where I saw the stat. I think it was uh, the athletic where he's in a 65th percentile in pick and roll situations, even though he's not, he doesn't do it that much. Mm-hmm. All in all, yeah, he's looking good. I feel like maybe we should keep keep doing that, man. Yeah, I, I mean, why hasn't Fizz been going to this um, early in the season, man? We, we We don't see it that much. Yeah, we don't. It's, I, guess, I guess it's because the, we have so many point guards trying to develop at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you want to get Pank, Frank, you want to get Moody, all those guys, you know, kind of familiar with the pick and roll at the top of the key. 
But um, it seems like you got to throw Knox in that mix as well, and this is a perfect opportunity for him to, to get his feet where all the point guards is kind of down. I, I agree, man. I agree. It would have definitely been a perfect opportunity. Um, On the flip side, defensively, needs work. Needs a lot of work, man. A lot oh, of work. God. Um, you know, part of the reason these guys like Joe Ingles and stuff was going off was because uh, Knox is also the matador out there on defense, man. He needs some work, man. Needs some work. That's one thing, oh, man. Like, I was worried about this from last season from from from, from the draft. Sometimes between the ears, he looks a little bit lost, man. You don't know what's going on there sometimes. On defense. He kind of stands around sometimes. He's matador sometimes. I'm hoping that he looks at a lot of tape over the summer. And slides his feet. He's the worst on his motor. Yeah. Works on his motor, works on getting stronger. He has a lot to work on on that side of the Yeah, a lot to work on. And uh, he said during the, after the Laker game, he spoke to LeBron, and, and LeBron was basically giving him them same words of encouragement, you know, affect the game in other areas outside of just scoring. So, um, but, you know, it, like, like we said, he's only 19. This is his rookie year. Had yeah. a lot of ups and downs in this uh, rookie season. Maybe some more downs and ups as, as we would like it to be but um listen i I thought you know like we said knox offensively he he was he was pretty good out there tonight but defensively left a lot to be desired you saw there was one play where uh you know he missed his assignment was late on the rotation um and deandre jordan kind of threw him under the bus a little bit he was kind of tight at him for missing Mm -hmm. that assignment i thought at that moment this is a moment where from an accountability standpoint if you're fizzdale you sit him down and put in john jenkins we was already getting washed you yeah. know, let let that be a teachable moment, but um, you know, you let you let him rock anyway. But all right, you know, just a little nitpick there with, with the with the coach. No, nah, that's not even a nitpick. I feel like a, that's a fair criticism considering um, he's supposed to teach defense. Um, I don't know what, what makes. I, I guess the rest of the season is a wash as far as that. I'm hoping next season he rewards players with playing time who play defense. Yeah. Like, that has to be something that they keep in the back of their mind. If I miss this rotation, if I'm not trying hard enough, I'm going to get my minutes taken with me. He needs to establish that. Some folks that have just seen the highlights in the YouTube and the Instagram stuff think, oh, my God, he's the next uh, Jordan or LeBron or Tim Duff. He's not on those guys' level in terms of franchise-altering talent, you know. Mm. Um, his, his shot mm. needs a lot of work. His mechanics, his elbow flies way out. Right. Um, I'd be surprised if he shot anything higher than 